Hello everyone, I'm Warner Jesus here. Um, this is a recording I made after the tournament game um, to tell uh, who I played and what was the setup. Basically we are playing on the World War Second World War Tournament which is hosted by Sevi and Bundestani on the score. Since I'm one of the referees aiding them, I will be recording and uploading all my games into uh, YouTube so people can see I'm not cheating and I'm being honest about everything that happens in the game. I was playing today against Mocha2, uh, who's one of the uh, longer staying members of the community. And it looked like a really interesting game. I totally didn't expect to see the end result. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, when it comes to my tournament recordings, this is raw footage. This is the only edited bit at the start, which I will add on the start of the video. And then just cluck everything else next to it. And there we go, everything is as raw as it is, uh, besides a bit of cropping on the sides to remove the side parts. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. It was actually over 1 hour and 30 minutes game. Hi there, Smoker. Are you ready for the game? Hey, hi. How are you doing? Uh, pretty decent overall. I hope you are also doing fine. I'm doing okay. You said you had some medical issue. No, I just went to toilets and so, so you weren't replying at the start, so I presumed you would be late, so I just decided to have a bathroom break, that's all. Okay. Alright, I gave you the link. Okay, I see you are in the room, so I'm just gonna hit start and let's go. We were late the Blackwood with yourself, I believe. It was at least the assigned one on the tournament list. Just uh, double checking, we will be in here. Let's see, ladders, uh, you are one and two, one versus two versus one is Lockwood versus Sub. All right, should be the right one. So we are rolling for the re leader now, right? Yep, yeah, um, before just uh, wait till I get into the game, I'm still loading. So, uh, as per the tournament rules, uh, we will roll um, who gets the big leader or decide who goes first. It's one on the two, and uh, then we just uh, set the board up and uh, do the draws. Okay, so okay. let's see. Let's... Okay, so that's a two, and that's four. All right, hmm. Uh, I'll pick uh, Lockwood. So you get to pick who goes first and who goes second. And we do that before drawing. So, do you want to go first or second? By the way, set these uh, soft timers to two and five. They are not correctly set on this matchup. I I didn't hear that. Uh, can you set the soft timers to two and five? They are not preset in this matchup. Okay. okay. Good, thanks. So, um, since you lost the roll, you get to decide if you want to go first or second. Since I got the leader. So, which one do you want? I think I'll go first. Alright. Yeah. So let's just shuffle and go and let's see what we got in the hands. Shuffle. Okay, I've shuffled it. Good. So I have to draw eight, right? Yep. And um, just give me warnings. It's gonna boost your volume a bit. We have done, we have draw, we are now reducing, there's nothing to reduce. So I produce. Yep. Do I um, uh, do I uh, take one more out or I, do I just get eight only because it's my turn? Uh, since you st uh, the first player does not uh, draw a card nor they reduce timers. 
So your dimers uh, are wrong because your first time it should be at two, not one. Since you started, you don't reduce it. Sure, understood. So uh, your leader's timer is still set on five and one. Sure. Just gonna put some tokens and dice on my side of the field. Um. Um, Can you hear me? Because just... yeah, go yeah. ahead. So are you asking something? Um, as if you have problems hearing me because you still have your timer set wrong on the stuff. No, no. So it was okay. So I should change this after my turn, is it? Uh, no, you start the game as a first player. You do not reduce timers, so they stay at five and two. You do not reduce okay, them. Okay. Okay. So you just produce resources. That that's the downside okay, so of going first. Okay, okay. So your next okay. turn you reduce, yeah. Because I'm playing like this one after a very long time. That's okay. Yeah, I think we played last a uh, couple of months ago. Yeah. Anyways. But just a reminder that you are able to attack on first turn. So if you got something that can immediately attack, you can do that. And if you have black blade that plays free on the field, you can also put it face down. Okay, it just needs a reduction timer, is what you're saying, right? Just, uh, just no. Yeah, it, it, if it's a black blade, it still has the preparation time of one, and since you don't reduce timers, it stays in phase time. But I don't have to use resources for it. No, you don't. If you have a black blade, that is. Technically, it plays I... before before either of us to, to does anything. But if you still have it on hand, just feel like free and do it. I don't mind. Okay. So it's ready on your next turn. Sorry, sorry, I fixed things. I shouldn't touch your stuff on tournament yeah, game. Sorry, I'm sorry okay. about. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's uh, ter it's totally free. Technically, you tab would have to put it uh, before you do anything, but it doesn't matter since there is a tournament rule that says if you fix a problem before battle phase, you can do it. So uh, I personally don't mind. Okay. Whoa, you have two black plates. Oh, now that that puts me no, on that's a different. Not a black blade. That's something else, then you need to play, pay, pay resources for it. Oh, yeah, all right. Uh, here is. Okay. Single resource, so I bet that's a silo. Yeah. That's my turn. All right. I'm keeping these resources. Um, okay, problems are we and these are heavy hitters. I see. Okay. I can keep it, right? Unless you. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, you can absolutely keep your resources. Okay. All right. Now, coming to the attack phase, I don't have anything, so I'll move on. All right. So my turn. So since I'm second, I draw a card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, reducing time is by one. And we're losing stuff. See, so should I take a few for this one? Probably should. Okay, I'm gonna spend two resources, play a face down. And then. Hmm. Let me think of it. I should probably put the dice on here as well. Okay. It gets oh, it keeps falling through the cards for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I also end my turn and say my resources. It's your turn. Okay. It's my turn, right? So mm -hmm. I draw one. Mm -hmm. And now you reduce all the timers. Okay. So this, because it's used, I'm going to keep it back. Yep. And uh, because this turn is... Oh, 
next one is over i'm going to flip it mm -hmm. this one will immediately produce so yep. i am going one two mm -hmm. and this is done and the, the black plate is already as well yeah this is flip that um now coming to okay now all of this is done now i reduce the turns in this one we will go to one mm -hmm. we'll go four so and now i'll produce i'll yep. produce right yeah one. so while you're doing that just reminded that since we are using the latest rules uh you uh, can't use leader or the t titan type of the normal countdown diamonds until the play phase we used to play it like uh they fire immediately on reduction place if you want to so you can delay it it's really a small change so it doesn't really matter which way you I, do I it i didn't get you i didn't get you what what, what is it exactly uh, okay, uh, we are using the latest rules. So remember when we played last time, we uh, used all the leader timers when they were ready if we wanted to, or we delayed them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The current rules is that you have to use leader timers as well as the other yellow timers, like the cheat item one, on the yeah. play phase, not on the reduction phase. So you can't use them on the reduction phase. However, all the red timers, which are called required timers, like the one on the Horde of Resources, they do activate on the reduction phase. It's a really small change, so I don't personally mind if you do it differently, because it doesn't have okay. any effect for the set one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like the, on the play is what you're trying to Yeah. Do. I understand that. Okay, okay. okay. Understand. It's there because uh, I heard set two has mechanics that are influenced by this, so they are starting to enforce the rule a bit. That's why it was ended in this tournament, unlike the other ones. Sure. And this I'm going to say to people who will watch the video. If you're wondering why I'm giving advice to my opponents, uh, possibly, you know, having a position of giving bad advice, it's uh, because I'm recording this patch so everyone can see if I'm talking bullshit later on and catch me on it and disqualify me. So I have to be honest about this. Oh, that's a lot of resources. I'm actually getting worried about that. Okay, so um, check. Mhm. Mm so I need to keep eight resources here. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So this one because I can uh, uh, change them to generic, right? Yeah, you don't have to do the swap by official rules. As long as okay. there is one uh, specific resource for each generic you require need to do, you yeah. can just put so them on. One, out. two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, one, six. Uh, yeah, seven and eight. Yeah. yeah. How the rule? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How the rules work is once it flips, I am allowed as a opponent to check if you counted it right, and if you counted it wrong, we will just dismiss it then. But you don't have to That's swap right. them with the bank. It's just something you do if you are new in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I have the eight resources here. Yeah. Uh, uh, could you move them uh, on your side because you are kind of on my field at the moment, so I can really okay. place them. It's only because I have like these multiple resources that yeah. I don't. Yeah. I'll just keep them just right beside it so that yeah. it's easy. Usually you put them underneath so you don't mix them with the other resources. Okay. Like I am doing here. Mm -hmm. I hope this gets easier with the actual. Oh, game oh just a reminder though, if you uh, count the resources wrong, you will lose the card if I spawn it. So you okay. uh, just okay. just so be certain you do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are eight resources here. I've counted them. Okay. Um... Okay. No. All right. Anything else you want to do? Sorry. Yeah. 
one, two, and three. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, so uh, you are going to attack them? Yes, so this, like the play phase is over. Yep. Now because I've turned the counters here, I'm going to go into uh, the attack uh, position. Mm -hmm. um, which is... 50, right? So I will be attacking this. Okay, so 50 damage to box and go plants. This one comes back and mm -hmm. it is like it is supposed to be like this, right? Yep. Okay. All right. And then it's my turn. And there's O's, and we got uh, chickens spying. <laughs> All right. Uh, walking with you, stay silent since we are actually playing tournament game. Um, I'm not sharing the screen since I'm recording the match and the problem is if I record the match and screens are at the same time, my those are PC jams that happened yesterday when I tested it. I'll just, I'll just watch the recording. Okay, thanks. Yes. All, right, all right, so you ended your turn, so it's my turn, so I'm just going to draw a card and uh, do some timers. My leader ability is ready, but I'm unable to use it yet. Okay, this one flips, and um, it's tier 6, so it produces two reasons. Okay, and then I'll reduce. This one gets two. This one gets one. This one gets one. And this one gets one. Okay, then let's play some stuff. Okay. You are playing big things, so it's my time to play big things as well. Okay, then let's see. All the day, this is gonna be a problem. Before I decide, I will use my linear ability loyalty and draw two cards. Let's see what I get. Just resetting the time at the two. Well, I definitely am seeing what I'm supposed to do in this game. Okay, I will play Cheetah the Missile Silo. It has zero preparation, so I'm just up front gonna pay the cost and replace these two for generic, so it will be ready. So, it's, oh, oops, wrong pile, two generics, uh, one few. So, this one is ready and it has a preparation timer of two on the launch mechanic. And it's your turn. So first, um, okay, I'll draw first. Mm -hmm. Draw first. Yeah. I will reduce the timer here. And I'll reduce the timer here. Oh, zero edge. Uh, Uh, I'll uh, so this is done. There is only you are saying I should. I I feel it is easier to uh, reduce the counters in this turn itself. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. yeah. You you do reduce the counters uh, in the reduction page. You reduce all the counters, including leader counters. It just means that you are not able to use the leader ability even if it's ready until your play phase. That's the only difference. You still reduce them. Okay. So your your second ability is ready and your. Oh, sorry, your first ability is ready, and your second ability will go to the tree of this turn. Yeah. You just so have to produce draw, the. You just can have. I draw the card now. Uh, you mean the push card? You define yeah. mechanic. Technically, you have to produce resources before you do that. Okay, I'll do that. I'll produce. I, I will uh, remind you after you do that, so you don't forget. Okay. Okay, now you can use the ability if you want to. I have to show you, I have to show you, right? 
Uh, yeah, it says that you have to show the drone which you find. Do remember to put your hand on the field face down, though, unless you do it like that, so you don't have to put hand in the field. Understood. It's uh, it's up to which up to you which mechanic you do. Uh, if you take the cards in the hand and search, then you have to put your hand on the field, so I can see your zero, hand zero count. But if you just uh, turn the uh, deck around, it just find... entire. How do I take the entire deck in my hand? Just use shift and select it all, and just do it, put it in your hand. I can only take a drone, right? Yep, only a drone. <laughs> okay, I think I'll take I will just take it here. This is the one which I'll take. Okay, so you take the geo on it, all right? And uh, for me to keep this thing, entire thing back, I just need, okay, uh, I think I need to play a little more. Uh, you, you don't pay anything for this one, so you just put it face down the field since that is already turn of one. Just put all the deck back and shuffle it first. I'm not able to find that orange. <laughs> you do it in segments if uh, using all of them okay. is bad idea. I have shuffled it. Okay. And I'll be taking this into the hand. Mm -hmm. and... Oh, wait, the drone goes in the field. You get to play it free. It says find a specific drone in the arts and show it and put it with your legion. Legion is the, where the units are. We, so you... But it doesn't say it's ready, right? No, it's not ready. It comes to play face down. So it has the preparation time of one, but you do not pay any resources for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but since I uh, since it's a drone card which you find, I have to check that it's the same card still, remember. Okay, sure. So it's the same drone which you do. Alright. Everything is fine. Okay. So uh okay, leader ability is over. I have uh, made sure that the counters are proper. Mm -hmm. And now I just have to get into the play phase, right? Technically you already are in play phase since you produced okay. and used the leader ability, so you can just play everything out. is here. All I just mm -hmm. need to do right now is do the play phase. Yep. Right? As far as I'm mm -hmm. okay. So I, this is just from my understanding. Okay, so if you want to make it easier for yourself to understand, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh. I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm definitely in trouble. Hmm. Oh wow, that's that's not a good thing for me. That's not a good thing for me at all. Okay, uh, anything else? I don't. Uh, I mean, the only thing left is the attack phase, mm -hmm. which I'm gonna uh, do anyways. Uh, one second. Just give me one second. Okay. okay. I, I just need one second to check a couple of cards. Just give me one moment. All right. Okay. This is not looking good for me. That's two apexes. Oof. Actually, I might lose this one. Okay, we'll see. Oh, 
um the hmm? non ready uh, card if if let's say let's say this is the goliath hmm? um and it has because it has pick off it is not allowed to take um like is it allowed to take any force off the field uh only forces it can block so in case of goliath land forces and if the unit has armored mechanic it's protected against it and apex has armored so i'm unable to yeah. pick up apex if you are worried about that yeah no i was just thinking so if you attack it, the if, only uh, thing is that this will get eliminated and then the excess thing will go to a territory right yeah which blitz effect Let's yeah say if this is goliath yeah if it's a goliath yeah yeah, if it's a so if it's a Goliath, then you would block with this one. You would reduce the health value from the blitz, and remaining damage would go to. And also, if it's a Goliath, I could destroy this card if I wanted to on my entry because it has a pickup mechanic. But I wouldn't be able to take out Apex since Apex has armored mechanic. Okay. Uh, let me do like this is hundred and ten, so let me go for this. Okay, so 110 damage to bonus supply factories. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay this is done. Mm -hmm. And I have nothing else to do, so my turn is over. Alright, so I will draw a card. And it is timers. So this one goes to one. This one goes to one. Then I will produce. Starting with this one, two for this. Now I have to think a bit. Okay, let's take fuel, fuel, and power. Okay, so I will use cut corners. It will cost me two moral and one power. And I will use cut corners on this face down card. Yeah. So it's ready and it's a nuke. Okay. So which one, which territory are you taking now? And uh, just first, I'm gonna remove the resources on the field. Since it's a tournament game, I'm gonna keep it nice and clean. There should be... Oh yeah, this were replacements for generics. Got confused there for a moment. Okay, good. Everything matches. So... I will be taking out your uh, Dazen city and the other two territories that are gonna take damage are... So this one also gets destroyed, right? Yeah, it automatically gets destroyed. And the two other ones that get take damage are gonna be Fermi Energy Plans and uh, Wolf Power District. And as per effect of nuclear, uh, nuclear blast, those territories are una yeah, unable to produce, so I'm just going to put a reminder here that they are unable to produce. Okay. You can remove it after your turn ends. Okay. Alright, then I get to play some cards. This one though, this black blade is going to be an issue for me. But, no choice in the matter. I have to do some things. When I oh wait, actually. No, 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 no. Not like this, not like this. Let's do this first. Another cheat at the missile silo. This time at the two operation. Uh, you forgot to reduce, by the way, the moral value of this card from your leader. This one has a five moral yes. penalty, I believe. You still have 20 moral, which you start with, so it should be 15. Okay, and the next thing I will do, let's see, this is not gonna do much. This is not gonna do much. This can't work. Uh, uh, yeah. A bit late, but why not? Why not? And then I will play Freeze and Rainstorm. Mm. So none of your forces is able to attack next turn. And it's your turn. Also, uh, the uh, Bonds Research Center can produce any resources. Because Next. the weather is yeah. on mm. this one, right? I um, so, only, I am only able to play my weather, if I have weather, I am able to play my weather only in the play phase? 
currently, yeah, the, there used to be a bump rule, so you could use it like before you draw, but uh, for this tournament, we are just using the play phase. But don't worry, even if you uh, are unable to produce on the production phase, uh, if you are able to remove the weather during the uh, play phase, you can still produce because the territories are trying to produce constantly, so they do it once a turn anyways. If just long as the condition is removed. Hmm? Yeah, but um, I won't be able to play the cards at that point. Can I play at that point? I can. Uh, what do you mean by that one? Um, when in the play phase, I let's say play a weather mm -hmm. and I'm able to produce. Yeah. I can use those resources to play another card, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have drawn a card. Mm -hmm. I have reduced a timer. So this is the one you can count one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Oh, okay. Now six, I know why you are talking about seven, eight. eight. Yeah, it's a T force. Yeah. So this is ready. I am just gonna replace. Mm -hmm. These two, I'm just going to take it here for the productions. Yeah, as long as I'm aware of it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next is, I'm going to reduce the timer on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to reduce the timer on this one. I'm going to the timer. Okay, these two can't produce, so no producing. This also can't produce because of this weather here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is applicable to both of us, right? Like in yeah. the next turn. Uh, it already affected me on my turn before, so next turn it will be removed at the start of my turn. It's only okay. the turn it's played and the turn after. Okay, so because I didn't produce, obviously I have to. One second, I'll just flip these guys over. Mm -hmm. So um, I am now going to go into the play phase and in my play phase, I'm going to be doing this. Okay, so terrifying storm, 30 damage to your buildings and territories, also your buildings and territories, by the way. So this applies to me as well. Yeah. That applies to both players. So these two that are missing silos will now have 20 health. I'm reducing my territory health. Yep, I'm also doing the same. Okay. Also remember your silo now has, um, I believe, 170 health. The resource silo. Uh, 70. How much? Uh, it loses 30, so it will sit at 180 health, not 170, sorry. Okay. So just with a token only. 170, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, it might be better if I just put the 20 on here. So, so now, shows. because there's no weather in play, I can produce, which yeah. is why I'll produce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seriously, can't believe you got two apexes on the field. Okay, so for this one, I'm doing. Okay, optimus outcome. One, two, and I don't have to show you the card, right? Yep, it just goes to your hand. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, result. I'll just mm -hmm. select a card. That is the only thing which is pending. Yep. The same way you must be uh, showing me that you have no cards in your hand if you search your deck uh, yeah, yeah, announcement. Also, the discard pile always shows the card. Oh, sure. Since we are allowed to check our discounts. Yeah. Mm, okay, now I just sort of select one card. Uh, 
I don't know why three cards suddenly came to my hand. Just probably accidentally draw three. Uh, oh wait, you mean you? Ah, uh, 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 it's the um, lang effect on Devil's Dapia. Yeah, it pulls the cards you put on the field back into your hand. They didn't actually play on the field, so you just have to select them again and put them on the side. I have no idea how. Like that is a glitch, right? Yeah, it's a glitch. It happens all happens all the time. <laughs> so what do I do now? Just select them again and put them on the field face down again. So you didn't take them off the deck, they are in your hand cards. That was a glitch. Yeah. As you, as you see, the cards here just vanished, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it came from the deck. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I that's. I can't wait for standard. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, it's gonna be much better then. But, the, but for me, I only saw one card here and three cards in the hand, so the game didn't register uh, that uh, for me, so it kind of put the cards in your hand. So what will you do? Anything interesting? Crude. This is the one. I mean, I saw the color. Just be certain you don't accidentally pick your own card, so you kind of have to put those ca cards that are top of your own no, cards. No, no, I remember together. each and everything which was on the... Okay. Good. And just uh, move these that were top of my cards bit forward so you don't have to worry about them. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. This was very unexpected. Yeah, it also happens. You don't worry about it. Thank God that, you know, I did it in the play phase so that I have nothing extra. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we put all the cards on the side. Yeah. Because stuff like this can happen in the other thing. <laughs> yeah, I, what has happened is it has like maybe one or two games I've played after we came elite. Mm -hmm. So it has just led to me not being aware of the table to be I'm just, um, while I do this, if I'm not seeing the uh, drop icon clearly, I will just. Uh, take back all the cards into my hand and just put the tiny bit of them back and just put them in a tinier pile on the field as well. That's also an option. Just put all the cards in your hand on the side as a massive stack and then just tidy it up a bit and just move it. <laughs> if I win this match, I'll do that. You're probably gonna win, by the way. So you've got a massive advantage here. But we'll see. Yeah. So I had that, I think it's optimized only. So I had the optimized outcome. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna go for the G force only, but in my turn, it like naturally came. Okay, I think they, they, I they, they, they as, as well. You didn't have this on the field. Everything else looks same. Now just flip the deck uh, around. Just select them all and press F key and shuffle. There you go. All is well. Oh. oh. Okay, we are back to mm -hmm. what we want to do. Now, I, I, because I've still not gotten into the battle phase, I can still play it, right? Yep. Okay. If you are the resources. Yeah, just, that's the single resource. Oh, you took a silo, alright. Okay. Um, 
yeah i guess that's it for the play phase mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna go into the attack phase now yeah okay Uh, you reduced the 30 damage, which was... Yeah, there, right? I did. Okay. 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 Okay, so let's do it. So, this is 60 and 60, 120. This hits this one. So, 120 to that one by... And uh, this is 240 and 50, which hits this one. So that takes out Werner's supply factories and I lose six more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I believe that's now... everything, right? Yeah, that's it, I guess. Right, go on a draw. Okay, reduction, reduction. This one is ready and I will use it yet. Yeah. This one is also ready and I will use it yet. This one goes to one. This one goes to one. Then I produce stuff. Okay, uh, I'm removing these counters. Yeah, you can remove them now. Hmm. Those counters here are removed because they can produce now. So this is ready. Hello. Yeah, it's ready. Let me think. There are no option. I'm gonna. Play satellite recall, uh, which lets me check my top four cards and put them back in any order. Yeah, sure. uh, let's let me draw the top one. So I'll draw this one. So now I will use my lead and ability loyalty and draw two cards. And then I will overpay and play another set of my can card. Oh, I didn't know it was ready for... It's a, yeah, it says it's zero preparation time, so it's immediately yeah. playing. And it lets me draw a card as well, so I just take the top one. Uh, I will use the cheetah the missile and uh, do 140 damage to your bonds resource center, which you can prevent. 120, 120, 120, 140, 140, 140, 140. Mm -hmm. okay. What is this 20 counter which you have kept here? Uh, it's the health of these units. They got only 20 health left, both of them, since you used the weather. This one? We shoot that by the way, but uh, yeah, which goes That's up next. That's pretty good actually in that way. I mean, if you are able to pull that weather, those two 
titans will go right yeah like let's say if i'm able to pull another weather <laughs> yeah exactly that sounds max it's one of the few yeah it's one of the few counters you have for g titan yeah it's a good counter mm -hmm. So, uh, so this that, will this will affect colossal warehouse also, right? Like if I yeah, use it, yeah, it will affect colossal warehouse. Anything with covered uh, can be specified, but the terrifying storm doesn't specify anything, so it just flat out damages them. But it has great health, so yeah, you are you are not gonna get it down with terrifying storms unless both players use them, and even then it will have extra health left, I think. Yeah, but this is a fantastic counter for these ones yeah it is i have to remember that <laughs> yeah it's gonna help you along the line on this tournament actually you know whenever i play standard i actually like it a lot more than like yeah it's a lot better game in my opinion anyways that's my turn i cannot do anything else so it's your turn so first remove your weather please since it's okay. take on the field two turns and then do whatever you want Okay, I'll draw first. Mm -hmm. Bad draw. So now, I, now I'll reduce the counters. Oh, by the way, you didn't reduce the health on the Palm's Recess Center. I attacked it for 140. I did. I did. I did. It was 230. It was um, after my 30 reduction. It was. This, well, let me just check how it works. The, the, it's absolutely impossible for bonds to have 250 damage if it takes 100 Wait, I'll, tell you. I'll, I'll tell you so it it has 280 health right yeah which you reduce by 30 thanks to your weather for 250 and then you reduce it by 140 from the loans it's put yeah. it to 100 110 health not 250 its maximum health is 280 yeah so 280 50 was reduced because uh, sorry, 30 Turf. was reduced because of this one. Yeah, that's 250. And, yeah. And then 140 was reduced from this one. So even right now it says it says uh, 210 only. It says 250 on my screen. No, no, it says 110. I can share you a screenshot if you want. Yeah. I can change the counter. I don't. Yeah, ch that. change the counter because I think it's uh, some form of lack because it doesn't show it correctly. It should have 110. Yeah. I think it just didn't reduce it. No, it's so shiro on me right now. What, what? Yeah, it shows zero. Uh, let me try. What happens if I change this one to 110? What does it What does it do in your side? Did it do anything? I just changed it. No, nothing. It's showing 110 only for me. Okay, so I think we got the desync here. Uh, so for some reason, the tokens are not showing properly for Beldamas. You're saying the counters are not working, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, if we might... Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna, just going to show it. Uh, this, is it the, showing 110 for you? Okay, this is showing Shiro for me. What is it showing for you? 110. It's okay. 110. okay, I'm just gonna set it to 999. Didn't change anything for me. Just one sec. Okay, so can you try pressing F5 and refreshing the game? And then let's say if you see the tokens as they are. And if it doesn't work, I will just do the same. Sorry, you were saying something. Yeah, now it's changed to 9.99. Okay, did you refresh the game? I didn't. Oh, interesting. I wonder why it's showing now. Just for check, uh, could you change it to something else? I want to see if it works for me. Okay. Sorry, one sec. Just anything. It doesn't. You can even be zero if you want to reset it. It's hundred and ten for me now. Okay, doesn't show me. So I'm just gonna refresh the game. Just gonna press five and just restart the game. Uh, I should be back in a few seconds. Give me a moment. I think we got the decent issue. So uh, refreshing the game should fix it. Okay. It's not the first time I have seen this bug. It's really rare though. It's, I think I have seen it's like over course of a year, perhaps two or three times. But it happens. It so that's nothing new. Did it work for you? It's, it, it still shows 99, but can you try to change it again? Perhaps reset it to zero? <laughs> I have one thing. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna set it to zero. Can you just change it to something now? Okay. Set it to zero. Well, it's zero since I also set it to zero, so can you just put it to 100 or something? It 
it's 110 right now. It doesn't show me. Uh, can you try pressing F5 and refreshing the game? So perhaps it helps with both of us refresh. Okay, it gave me a runtime error. Yeah. No, it gave me a runtime error. I don't think I'll be able to enter. Uh, just uh, try it once. If it doesn't work, the only, only thing we need to do afterwards is that we just discuss when we change tokens and we both change it to the same value. That's simple, right? No, it's giving me a runtime error right now. So when I put Tabletopia, right? The Tabletopia only is not working for me. So it's not allowing you to... No, Tabletopia itself is not loading for me. Okay, so it just gives you the... Um, uh, the uh, gray box with uh, code error or something? Yeah, it's saying server error in slash application. Okay. So what we can do now is that a stable to be a saves the game state. Okay. The game saves the same as long as I don't reset it. I'm is stable to be loading for you? I am in the game and I just refreshed so it's loading for me. So, oh, why it's not okay. okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna okay. go back to lobby. Okay. Right, so. Mm. Uh, it actually shows you offline on the lobby. Interesting. Yeah, I even though I'm speaking to you. Okay, I'm just gonna refresh the lobby again. And then I'm gonna press continue and see if it loads for me. It should, okay. it should set me back into the game. At least it's loading. Why <laughs> is it not working for me? And it loads normally. So uh, let's try something. I'm gonna go back to lobby again. No, it just says runtime error. Why does it say that? Uh, so try. Uh, what we can try now is uh, log out of table lobby and just clear all your browser cookies. I will send you the game link again, and let's try new. Uh, I will use the same game, by the way. Nothing changes. I will just basically remove you from the room with Kick Player. And then you will just uh, log out, table the beer, and just clear all your cookies. Okay. And then log it's back working. in. It's working. Okay. It's working. And I will send you the link again, which should be the same which I sent you on the chat. But just, just in case. And then once you are done all the, uh, you know, refreshing and stuff like that, then just uh, use the link and to come back to the room and we'll just return into the game. That's the good side of table uh, You can just continue it later. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, I okay. clicked on continue now. Okay. It's loading for me. Oh, this is really weird. This is the first time it has happened to me. Like yeah, it, but fortunately I have seen stuff like this before. So I now know what works. <laughs> You're always on this. <laughs> yeah. And we get like, I think we got about six, uh, oh no, no, wait, you have five and a half time zone, I think. So we got like three and a half hour difference on time zones. Okay, so uh, it still says 250 for the token for me. Uh, does yeah, it... I'll just change that, let's see. And for some reason it shows day cursor, permanently champs in my cursor now so I'm just gonna refresh again it says bad connection try refreshing it says 110 now can you see it uh, I'm refreshing because for some reason I had take three stuck in my cursor which is interesting since I'm pretty certain I didn't try to take anything mm -hmm. which is gone now uh, it shows as 110 to me now yeah okay let's do the token test again uh, this token here what does it show to you zero Okay, so I'm just going to set it to 100. Uh, do you see the change? I mean, I set it to 100, so it shows up. <laughs> okay, we both see. I'm, I'm going to use this one and set it to, let's okay. say, 200. Okay, did it change? Yeah, 200, yes. Okay, perfect. We are set to go. Everything is correct. Yeah. Okay. And I believe it was your turn, right? Yes, it was my turn, and I was just reducing timers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because you had attacked, I think, uh, so your turn was over, right? Yeah, I used... Now everything shows... Ah, oh, yeah. I'm just... Uh, it occasionally okay, so flips cards face down uh, when uh, one, it this happens. One? Uh, it's, not it's not ready yet, oh, it's ready next turn. Okay. Yeah. 
Good. Okay. Okay, I'll reduce counter. Mm -hmm. Chicken, you're still here? Yeah. It's a really good way you can just basically save the game state and just return to it a bit later if there's problems. It really makes yeah. it easier to deal with problems like this. Yeah. Also, uh, since I'm... Sorry, I'm doing this because I, I, I get into like, sorry, older patterns about this one. Sorry, I produced before I did it. It's yeah. just like certain things just make it easier. I, I know I'm not following the exact rules. Certain things uh, it, it, it's fine. I was uh, actually gonna remind you about the Apex because I kind of have to play by the book since I'm recording. If I, if if you would have a third party referee here, I wouldn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> but but uh, uh, since this is a uh, kind of like non-referee game, not ready. You're saying this it's 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 ready. It's ready. It's ready. It's absolutely ready. Okay. I just mean if you had forgotten anything, I wouldn't remind you about it because that's referee's oh, thing okay. to do. Yeah, but yeah. since this is kind of like uh, outside <laughs> game, you're the referee as well. Yeah, I'm a referee as yeah. well, so I have to be doing everything by the book. So I'm just kind of like reminding you about everything, which I wouldn't even do this much Did I do normally. Anything wrong, Did I no, do anything wrong? no, I don't think you have done anything wrong. Just bit minor order things, but as I said at the start, it doesn't matter because I know you are one of the people who I taught to play in a certain way. Yes, and yes. the rules change afterwards, so that's on me more or less. <laughs> So, well, it didn't change, they just clarified it that actually you can't use leader timers to read ready phrase. They have I to be not used. able to find my card which I had pulled, um, the one which I had pulled at the start. Uh, it's not able to find yeah, I know you had four cards in the start, so feel free to draw. So, you have five, so you had four cards sure, at the end, right? yeah, because I knew which card I drew. If you want, I can just take that. It should be on the top because uh, we had the decent issue, I think yeah, it did the same one, it's yeah, the same yeah. one. I drew it in the same one. It didn't show the things you did on my end, but it showed them on your end. So for you, you already drew that card, so you knew what it was. But for me, you never did it. So, yeah, sure. so for me, it showed you have four cards for the entire duration. So I know for certain you should have five cards now. So it's fine. Yeah. True. Okay. Uh... Okay. Now I am in the play phase, right? Yep. Just give me, I need like five minutes because I'm doing some calculations. All right, no worries. Don't worry, you're probably going to win this. This is looking really bad for me. I haven't done anything I want. And all the cards that could have won me, were the game for me basically got ruined because you had the black blade in the field. I can't play them. Mm. Since, since it's blocks bombers, which really ruins my day. I went for the cheat item bomber tactics, uh, which kind of ruined me because you, you are the black plate. So just you you know what I'm talking about, since I recall we did that once. Yeah. Uh, I'm really regretting that now. Also remember, you get your five, uh, five pointer up next turn if you want to use it. I, I can use it, right? Next turn, not yet. Because I haven't used my ulti yet. And you start it, it, it so I will... I'll, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll just change this. And I can use my first one turn, right? Yeah, like you, you, turn. yeah you can find a draw. Okay. Just give me one moment. Yeah, no wonder people don't want to play standard. <laughs> Uh, it usually works, but if there is, let's say, a busy time on standard, or for some reason either side has some latency issues, um, it gets it get fanged. Is, manual side of it oh, you mean that? You, know, you can actually do it pretty fast once you get used to it, but you're gonna need to see what you are taking from the decks. Yeah, I have to play every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> In the wild, not every day, more or less. A few times a week, at least. I mean, it is definitely fun. I mean, I, I think I'm going to be playing a bunch more. 
I, I get the hope they uh, add an ability to like do those things on the field on the official clan. So you could like let's say if you have the card slot, like you do have the Blitz Beta clan, so you could do stuff like move cards around when your opponent is doing things. That would be really fun. <laughs> let's see what they do. Let first let yeah. them deliver on the game. But... Yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, one thing, fun, one fun thing about Table DBA is that since this is technically game physics engine as well, so you could do stuff like uh, if you wanted to. I'm just gonna show here. I could like build dice towers like this, and, and just uh, build some card house bridges as well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so it really really showcases what you can do in a real game. This one. Yeah. They're probably not gonna let us do stuff like that on the official client then. Yeah. Physics part of it is kind of fun though. Mm hmm. I personally kind of like it. It's really confusing, but it's a good mental challenge to just try to keep track of everything. And getting that yellow color is a pain. Oh, sorry, that French color. So, finding a drone. <laughs> you have to basically wait three hours to play this game, man. <laughs> okay, I think I'll be able to get it now. I'm hoping. Yes. Victory! Oh, I have a shuffle. Shuffled? Okay. This is the card which I'm uh, taking, okay? Because of yeah. the drone. Yeah, it's a drone. So same thing as last time, just put it face down the field with the timer one. You can use counter if you want, there is no rule for that. Yeah, no, it's easier with the dice. Uh, okay, so I'm taking these back into my hand. Okay. I want to take a risk, but I don't want to take a risk. Why not? So you get the massive lead. What would the risk be? No, this is a risk. <laughs> I'll tell you that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One. I can take generic as any other thing, right? Like I can replace generic to any other thing, right? No, just one for one resource. Not any other thing. Okay. You have to use two resources to represent specific. Uh, you can you you can you can use. Uh, Okay, like let me. Uh, okay. If I if I want this, yeah, I, I have to. Uh, you have to use two, yeah. But if you want generic, then you can use anything as a one to one ratio. But I if you want, yeah. But if you want anything else, then it has to be two. Yeah, I I just was confused. Hmm. I like to think it like generics and money. If you buy something, it's more expensive than producing it. Mm. Got it. Uh okay. Um, not going for the risky move. Uh, I have two more resources pending here, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I guess basically that's my turn. And now I'll go into the attack phase. Mm -hmm. So with attack, I am attacking this. Okay. That's two forty, so two thirty. This is gone. Uh, you have to assign all the attackers. That uh, okay. that's how it works. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I'll do that. So all of these guys. Mm -hmm. So this is 240 plus this is 120, which is 360. Mm -hmm. And uh, this 50, these all are attack, like these all are attacking this one. Everything is attacking yeah, that one. Is attacking this one. Even the built apexes. So, no, no, no. Oh, this one is attacking this one. Okay. And these four are attacking this one. Okay, so uh, I think that's enough. So checking, let's say 240, uh, this is 300 total, this is 50, so that's 370, uh, 350, 
And this one gives 60, so that's uh, 410 damage. Okay, so this one goes this one and everything else goes this one, correct, right? Yeah, because the problem is if I keep this alive, it will mm -hmm. produce on the next turn. That's yeah. why I'm taking this out. Okay, so what, now that you have assigned all the blockers, I will sacrifice my TX6 to block this one. Okay. Which, interestingly enough, gives you 350 damage. No, wait, no, I, there's no point for me to do that since you got your leader ability next, ready next. Give me a moment. Now, this is an interesting situation for me because I could technically save it. Let me count five and four. I have enough more left if you take that out. Mm. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna block after, I think I keep the resources. So these two will be eliminated and I will lose uh, 5 plus 4, so 9 more. Yeah. Oof, getting close. Alright, just uh, flip your cards so they get block, and I believe that's yeah. your turn. Okay. All right, my turn. So drawing a card, uh, reducing timers. My leader ability is ready, but I'm unable to use it yet. Uh, one of the titans is ready, and I don't use it yet. Mm -hmm. This one goes to one. You said you won't use it yet, or you'll use it later. I'm able to use it because it's still reduction phase, and the titan okay. timer is a countdown timer, like the leader abilities. If you can see it, that's the yellow circle. So I'm unable to use it during the reduction phase. Okay. This one flips, uh, and it's a bomber. Alright, and I think we accidentally put some resources on the wrong piles here. Okay, graphics. My I do it all the time, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, then this produces two, and this produces one. Okay. Now I get to use stuff on my field. I will use the leader ability nuclear. Yes. Uh, which lets me pick a territory and eliminate it and yes. do others take 50 damage. So what I will eliminate is the wolf power district and you lose six okay. more. And the other ones will take 50 damage. Okay. So uh, six model, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, wolf, wolf is six. Okay. This is gone. Thank mm -hmm. 50 mm -hmm. damage here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yes. Next. Okay, then let's see. Man, I'm really running low on resources here. So now, because this one, none of these ones can attack, right? So this can attack anything, right? Yep. Okay. Now let's, let me think a bit. You, I mean, it's difficult for you to win on this, to be honest. Yeah, it's really difficult for me to end it, uh, win this, but I will try anyways. Yeah. There's no point not trying, right? <laughs> I will uh, use this uh, Cheetah the Missile Silo ability, and I will, in fact... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I will take out the Bonds Recess Centers. And you oh. lose eight more. And I lose this one. Yep. And how much I lose? Minus eight. Minus eight. Oh, one, two, eight. Okay. And then I will. Uh, uh, yeah, there's no points for me to do anything else. I'm gonna go the battle phase and I'm gonna hit your silo with the um, Knight Eagle, and that does 160 damage. That has still 10 mm -hmm. left. Yep. And that's your turn. Cool. Okay. Honestly, if you had these two running at the same time, this would have created huge problems for me. Yeah, I know. Okay. Cool. Your turn is over? Yep. Okay. okay. Now I will draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And uh, I will now reduce timers. Yep. And your leader ability is ready if you want to use it. 
my leader ability is ready and it is going back to 5 um i just as you said i think you had the right way to look at this mm -hmm. it's easier to remember with that true i actually learned it from relay logics he's uh, writing a great guide about the standard matches it's uh, kind of pretty interesting yeah. ooh the yeah, current oh, this is a full slot on slot on I got really lucky this game. To be yeah. Do remember though um, that you are unable to specify leader if you take the territory out during battle. I'm it's... unable to specify leader. Why? Uh, <clears throat> you assign all forces when you attack, so you are unable to change the targets once the battles resolve. So if you attack a territory with your forces and take out the territory. You already assigned all your forces. You have no forces left to assign to the leader, even if you are summoning the best. But even like, let's say, if I have all these forces, mm -hmm. so that, I let's that's... say let's say I use this. Let's say I use this and this mm -hmm. to attack your territory. In the same turn, I can't attack the leader. Yeah, game. that's how it has been since the start of the game. Okay. If you if you uh, if you compromise leader before battle, you can finish it in battle phase. But if you compromise leader during battle, your forces are already assigned, so you I cannot think, reassign yeah. them. In, in these works. kind of scenarios, if you have like a morale card, mm -hmm. something which reduces the morale. Yeah, that's exactly why instill fear can't exist because it reduces morale by two and prevents blocking. Because see, even I can't take this out because TS six is such a great card in that way. Like normally. If you take out the building, you can see there is minus mm -hmm. morale, which is happening. You can do this in your next turn, to be honest to me. <laughs> so I basically can't win in this turn, right? Uh, Unless I have a morale card. Well, you can attack me or use the leader ability. Those are basically the things you can do. No, but it won't take out your territory, right? Leader ability? Uh, no, well, depends how you do it. It's up to you. It doesn't see. Uh, uh, le animated... It's only 200 on the leader ability, so that wouldn't probably take out the territory. Yeah. See, if I don't use this ability, I'm just, again, I am not asking. You don't have. We are you, you, yeah. against each other. Yeah. You don't. You don't let's say. Remember, you don't. Assign even one of my uh, forces to one territory also. Mm -hmm. Like, I, let's say if I'm able to take this out for some reason, I am not able to attack the leader, is what you're saying. Yeah. It's same for me. But if I'm able to attack from like a morale standpoint, if I had morale, mm -hmm. your morale was zero, yeah. then I'd be able to attack your leader directly without touching the leader, right? Yeah. No, sorry, without touching yeah. the territory. Because that's how the uh, battlefield works. Remember, you assign every force, and when you do, after you do that, then your defender assigns all the defenders. Then you calculate what happens, which goes through and what goes through, and then you see if territories are eliminated or not. So once you do all that and it's resolved that let's say I'm compromised, you already assigned all the units, so you are unable to do any changes. That's how it has always worked because it's kind of like a safety mechanic to give you like an extra turn for people, so you hit that part. I know, but basically, I think in that case I lose, right? Like you'll basically use this to I mean leave it. Well, I didn't uh, know about that. I thought I am pretty certain. I, and leaders in one turn. I'm pretty certain I told you about that so when I told you standards. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily over. It depends what you how you do uh, what you do here. Okay, okay, understand. So uh, since this is about the conclusion of the game, I won't give you any hints uh, since I, I have been helping you all the time. But uh, I I will I will yeah. just I will just be honest. It's entirely possible for you to win at this situation. Okay, cool. It just depends how you do it. Okay. I will think about it. There's tension in the air. <laughs> this is what I love in War Second. One side can have absolutely 
dominating uh, position on the field, and you can still have a situation where it's technically possible to win. Okay, I'm not produced yet. I've just done these turns. Oh yeah, yeah. You ha you haven't produced yet. You just flip the card. So go ahead and do that. Just clear your mind. I really thought I had lost there for a second, to be honest. But it's clear now mm -hmm. what I need to do. Let's just say it's possible to lose, but it's hard. This needs two resources. Mm -hmm. Which is one and a two, and because it's ready on the zero turn, yeah. it's already ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, now coming to the attack. Okay, play is over. Mm -hmm. Now I'm coming to attack. Okay, and attack phase. So three hundred and two. Okay, so these four, one, two, three, four. So these four are attacking this one. Okay, so wait, you... Wait, no, hmm? no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I can attack the uh, territories and buildings in one go, right? I uh, can do that. Yeah, but remember these are covered, so unless you have a means to remove covered mechanic, you are unable to specify them. Oh, okay, understood, understood. So these four are mm -hmm. attacking this one. Okay. And uh, all the rest of them. Yeah, those four. Yes. Okay, so that's two hundred. Is, is this blocking? It can't block. It's a bomber. Bombers can't block. No, it is currently blocking, right? Uh, no, it uh, attacked last turn, so it's returning. Okay, okay, sorry. And if you read Bombers, it says Bombs can't block, can only damage buildings, territories and leaders. So Bombers are unable to block units. Got it. Okay, so, okay. Le so, these... oh. okay. so let's calculate this result, alright? That's 240 damage, plus 40, that's 280 damage, plus 60, so that's uh, 200, uh, let's say 200. Uh, 240, uh, 340, and this is 400, alright? Okay, so that's enough to take it out. But I got this tier 6, so I'm just gonna block this one. And I will have exactly 10 health left after you attack. So am I done with my turn? or? Like... Yeah, that's your turn. Since you declared all the attacks and we declared all the blockers. So that's the turn. I lose my tier 6 for the blocking though. And your Hornet doesn't take any damage since it's evade. So this go to no, no, evasion I mean... situation. I will tell you how could you how you could have won, but you basically just made a yeah, mistake. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think I'm gonna lose on this one yeah. because I just had to assign one more. Mm -hmm. I I didn't. Okay, so just flip them. I completely I... forgot about that TX section. Okay, so just flip. That it can block. Yeah. Uh, but we... okay, because these are all. Uh... Yeah, uh, these don't have stealth. So just flip those on the defensive position, and I will tell you how you could win before we uh, could have won. All right. Before we continue, I should have just assigned this one. Okay. Uh, actually, you should have attacked with everything else except these two. Because these have stealth and they are air units. And my only way to win the game is to either hit the missile on your leader or attack with the night vehicle. And the only way for me to win next turn would be me, me to take out this building and then attack your leader directly. So as long as you are possible... It is still, it is, the, the problem is not that. You're still not able to, like, let's say, no matter what you use to take this out, right? Like, mm -hmm. I know it's a morale hit. But 
the thing is that this one is blocking this one basically. Uh, Apex can't block the uh, Night Eagle because it doesn't have stealth. Which one? Apex, 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 doesn't, Apex doesn't have stealth. So the only units in your field that can block the Night Eagle are the Black Blades. So those were those were the only units you need to put on the uh, field and defend with. Hmm. So how this will play out, uh, it can still change. For example, if you uh, let's see, let's just play. I think yeah, I it's it's still it's still possible. It's still possible. If you yeah. get if you get the lucky draw, you can win. That's hmm. entirely possible. But basically, what you would have done by leaving the black blades in and just attacking with everything would be that I wouldn't be able to prevent the Boxton. And I wouldn't be able to finish you off with the bombers, so you would get an extra turn to attack my leader and take me off yeah. before my other missile fires. But it's still possible, you still have a chance. There is one card in your deck that can save the situation. Anyways, I'm gonna draw. Oh, still shitty. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. My draws have been really horrible. I even tried to jinx them a bit with the other mechanics. Okay, so this one is ready, and this one goes to one. I'm unable to... Yeah, there's only that? one card which will save my <laughs> Again, this go here. Yeah. But that, that, that's, that's, by the way, the argument about Fireforge. You notice ten, 10 health difference. Yeah, it is really screwing. Okay, so this uh, two are ready now. And I get to produce, so I will just get the one power for this one, which is sad to be honest. Uh, then I will use the leader ability to just uh, uh, draw two cards with loyalty. I mean, why not? And then I will use the uh, cheat titan to take out your resource silo, and you lose two moral and are compromised. I did so many mistakes in this. I should lose this match. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. You can still win this. Okay, so uh, no, your, like... <laughs> your resource... I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not joking. I will tell you how you could still win this if the, after the result. But I'm not going to tell you now. No, because know. because this is a tournament game. This just would be a friendly game. I would absolutely tell you. So your silo I is... I know how I can win. I just need a lot of luck on that. So yeah, I yeah, I do. Okay, uh, anyways, you lose one more roll and you are compromised. And now there is no point for me to, to attack since you can block the black blades with this one, and this one uh, basically can be blocked with the uh, zero edge, so they would both just be eliminated. So okay, I want eliminated. to. Let's, mm. let's do that. It's eliminated. Actually, why not? Let's attack. Uh, it doesn't affect the end result. So these are both eliminated. Okay, there we go. And it's your turn. The win or loss de is dependent on your next draw. Everything else in the field basically doesn't matter. <laughs> it is a stupid thing it came down. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, did you draw draw it? Yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I did so many mistakes I deserve to lose in this because I should have just used my lead ability. What would that lead to is Oh, actually, okay, okay. actually, you no, 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 no. You, it would have uh, caused you loss if you used the leader ability. You should have done no, what. You, not in the last turn. See, in the last turn, I didn't attack your leader. Oh no, yeah. You, yeah, you, because I you couldn't, it. and it also yeah. appears attacking. Only, only mistake you did that could cost you the game was that you, I should uh, have you just, with everything. yeah, and just That's left the choppers to defend against the bomber. You just needed to block it once. I just, I just thought because the card on the ground, I thought it was something else. I thought, you know, this will block this one. I didn't um, remember about the stealth mechanic mm -hmm. because I thought this will autumn because it had anti air. I just thought it would easily block it. Yeah. I oh, I, oh, actually, now. About this. Okay. Oh, well, now that I think about it, you even could have just added. The, oh, sorry, not this one, not this one here, yeah, and you could have won it. Basically, it's 10, yeah. 10 damage. Any units more to attack. I know that. I know that. That's yeah, but I, I just realized it, so I'm saying it. Sorry about that. That was I really... Don't know why I, didn't do... I don't know why I did not do that. But man, but man, this is really a big game. I know you are rough, but damn, that, no, that, that's close. That's really... You, you can't get closer than this, seriously. Uh, perhaps only get leader health then, or something like that would be closer, but still. Uh, anyway, uh, you still can... Uh, Reduce I timers. Not. <laughs> I, I, I mean, not saying win, but you still have your turn left, so you 
can reduce timers, you can produce and you can play cards. Let's see how badly I lose. I got really worried when you got my uh, cheat items at 20 health. I got really, really worried because I knew I had absolutely no way to win this game if I don't have a double cheat item and you don't get unlucky draw or mistake. I should just remember about certain things. Like if I play Zoff versus Lockwood again, I wouldn't be that much worried now. I mean, I mm. was very lucky to draw the, uh, you know, Apexes in the start with the Beyblade, you know, Black Blade and everything. But I just screwed it up by not remembering certain rules. No, it happens. I yeah. forgot. I mean, I'm on the play testing group and I forget rules all the time. It's normal. It happens. And especially when you're playing under pressure, like in tournament situation. It's even harder. Mm. Okay, so um, that gives you three, in, uh, two intel, and it has suspense four, so you need to put the time on uh, dice on it. It has. Oh no! Uh... Yeah, it l only lasts four turns after it's played, so you can max get maximum of uh, eight intel out of it. Sorry, uh, six intel. Do I have to reduce the timer now? Uh, no, uh, since it just went to play, it doesn't reduce. Okay. It's the same as with the cheat items, when they end the play, they don't reduce the timers. But you've got still a plenty of resources left, so... No, I just needed something else for that. Yeah. I needed at least resources to make this happen. I could have made it happen, but... As I told you, I, I chose to play this differently and that is, mm -hmm. I did so many mistakes, I think, four mistakes I did. I also have a lot of options, but I decided to play the Bomber just for a silly gambit of getting past your attacking once during the entire game, and I made that gamble like four turns ago, so it's, uh, <laughs> I'm actually happy it paid, it was really, really, really risky thing to do. Sad thing is, this guy doesn't even have like 10 plus health on it. Like, this guy can just go in him. Yeah, uh, Zoff is one of the leaders you absolutely want to Firewatch in this game. You either want to use the infinite version or you want to use Firewatch. Preferably, yeah. Yeah, preferably use the loot leader for extra resource. Oh, wait, you can Firewatch that. Never mind. <laughs> so, so just to use Firewatch Zoff or infinite Zoff. But these are using the base versions of the like, card. Like, even a 10 health would have made a difference. Right? Yeah, 10 health would make the difference on both sides. 10 health on this and 10 health on that would make the difference. I don't think you Like, I just didn't know you can't attack the leader on the same turn. Mm -hmm. That is the painful part in this. Yeah. You, uh, I mean, just clarify if you take out the territory outside battle, you can attack leader. But if you take the territory out battle, you have no forces yeah, left to your yeah. side. So you can. I know that. I don't have enough resources. I'll have next turn, but I would have lost till then. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you remembered that rule, so sorry I, did, I didn't remind you about that earlier, because I kind of... That is the only, like, main rule which I forgot, because if I knew <laughs> that, I would play this, like, very different. I, I just it was such a surprise because I was in the battle phase at that time. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, I think... Okay, so uh, what will you do? Just keep everything else to block, but it's of no bloody use. I actually forgot to put the two on this one, sorry about that. That technically minor mistake, but I have to make the timers ready. And it's not the card that's required me to win, so that's probably fine. This one is the one I need, need to win with. Hmm. There's nothing which will remove covert, right? Uh, not on this matchup, but on the set one there is the amplified up uplink facility which Dash will uh, cover. Okay. 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 That is something which I love to remember. Uh, it's okay. also something that needs in the lead, so you probably, if you are making custom decks, you might want to consider in the cards. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go into the attack and um, basically... Just use whatever and you take out the territory more or less. I have absolutely nothing that can block, including this one. 
Combos are unable to block. So I cannot um, block it. I'll just use this to attack. Okay, so that's 40 damage. I lose Buxton. And Buxton causes me to lose 5 moral and the resource. However, you cannot go under 0 on moral. So I'm at 0. And I'm now unable to gain moral as well. And it's my turn. Yeah. Just gonna draw this one. And it was in time as... I tried to draw weather so hard that I didn't because I was certain I would lose without the weather. But fortunately, I got uh, lucky with your assigns today. Okay, I got nothing to produce, so I will go to play phase. And during play phase, I will activate the ability of Cheat Titan Missile Silo, which I have ready. And attack your leader zone with it for exactly 140 damage using the launch ability, which will eliminate Sop and win me the game. Yes, you won. Oh. And I honestly do not believe I won. Because yeah. when I saw you play the Black Blade at start, I knew I was in trouble. Because I had bombers in pairs in my hand. I was trying to go for the bomber win. And that one Black Blade alone prevented me from using the bombers. Until the point I realized that I had to gamble. So that you use Black Blade and I get one hit in, so I played Bumber anyways, I think it was turn 3. And you cut my territories down so well that I had this many forces in my hand. Oh sorry, it's actually played the back of my hand. This many forces in my hand and I was completely unable to play any of them. I did, I did two mistakes. One mistake which I did was one, not understanding this rule about... Mm -hmm. The, you know you can't attack the leader on the same turn because I was I was like okay I'll just attack the territory finish with the leader so that is one which I didn't know and the second mistake which I did was not using one like, extra unit everything mm. I I just misunderstood the apexes so um, as I as I didn't know that they didn't have stealth yeah so, but the, but the thing is thing is you didn't need the apex to block you just needed the black plate just I one know, black right. mm. Because remember, I, I just thought it, it's like a card to card sort of a block. Yeah, that's what I thought. But but the, uh, just remember, this, this is really important. For, I, I'm just gonna keep stressing it to you so you remember it. Sorry about that. Bombers cannot damage unit. They cannot even damage carriers. So even if you block it with the five R thirty one I a transport unit, which is basically has twenty health, I believe, or forty health. Sorry. It wouldn't be able to be eliminated on blocking. It could block the bomber indefinitely. You always win encounters <laughs> with any. I've spoken up <laughs> and saved my back. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, w <laughs> one thing though, uh, can you show me the last two cards you have in your hand? I just want to check something. Oh yeah, you wouldn't be able to win this one. This I is know. FI and I th th this one is a power territory. I would need this Yes, one. that that's exactly. If you had another terrifying storm, you would have won this game. Ugh. That was the destiny draw you needed to win the game after the assignment mistake. So you still had a chance, but let's say you had uh, 44 cards, so it was... I think you got two or three copies yeah, left. I mean, if this one had come, at least, I would have got it. I think you have two copies left, right? So so you had like two out of 44 chance to win it after you made the mistake. No, so if this would have come... Oh I yeah, that's have... true! That's true, you also got double obvious outcome left. So if that would have... Well, yeah, so you could have had four <laughs> out of 44 chance to win. Yeah, because I had the resources to play this. Yeah, you absolutely did. I played everything right except for getting that one rule, that one rule screw. I mean, seriously, man, I... Can't believe I won this. This is yeah. this was. Oof. Uh, I, I, basically, because my mistake, right? Like I didn't remember about you can't attack the leader on the same turn. You eliminate the territories. The only way through is the morale route. Yeah, I, I just. Need, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna say this to if there are any tournament players watching this afterwards. High recommendation if you feel rusty, have a practice <laughs> game beforehand. <laughs> I mean, you can not lose a winning match. I mean, people can just poke me on Discord and I play a practice game with you if you are the tournament. As long as you are not my next opponent and want to play the pair we are assigned to, that I'm not gonna do because that's gonna definitely give you an advantage. 
but uh, just one refresher game. And by the way, about this rule, uh, this was something we got uh, wrong uh, initially when the Tabletop Your First Game live like last year about this time. Uh, no, not this time, sorry, not last. Not this time, it was uh, fall uh, two years ago. Wait, it has almost been almost two years already. Yeah. Uh, we all also thought that, yeah, you can just uh, attack the leader, but that was one of the first rules Brandon corrected. Uh, and then I started to teach people immediately afterwards that you cannot change the targets of your forces once you assign them. That's why you have to assign forces and then assign defenders, and then you are not allowed to touch them. Exactly because you are unable to target leader afterwards. Yeah, I should have just, I mean, it's a good refresher. Just that I would have, I would have maybe enjoyed it more <laughs> if I had not lost. <laughs> hey, uh, you have three. This is not a single elimination tournament. You still have two games. I know, so, but I if you need refreshes for that also. Yeah. Well, um, we just play refreshing games on those at some point if you have time before your matches. We can do that as well. And. Um, yeah. So basically, if you just play, uh, win both of the games, there's probably gonna be someone. Oh wait, it's we got four players. Well, uh, just counting if it's actually possible to be like a sixes. It's I think it's possible to have like two players with two wins for tiebreaker game. But uh, but yeah, I think it's possible to have that. But that would require everyone to lose once. If someone wins mm -hmm. three times, they basically automatically win the bracket. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I, other two ones. I think it's only possible when you play it. Like, I think I, I genuinely need to play the other two ties which I have. Mm -hmm. Most probably with you, uh, because you know the rules the most and you are the most updated. So if that happens only, then I have like a chance because I play well. It's just that couple of rules which I forgot to. I just have to remind that technically there are two people that know rules way better than I, I do, and they are the Cubas of Stolen Goods. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you get the chance to play either of those two, you never know the issue. They are also the... Yeah, so, so, so if I know the rules, I'll be in a better position, right? Yeah, uh, technically I think you did, because uh, uh, I'm pretty, yeah, because I'm pretty certain I taught you that. <laughs> Imagine if you had, if like, if, imagine if you are any other player who doesn't know about that rule. <laughs> Basically, I would have won anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's Just that's. Like the yeah, yeah, but th that that's a core rule. People remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man. Thank that... you for the game, though. Uh, 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 I would like to have like. One, like as I said, like uh, maybe if you're free later or something like that, you can just ping me. I'm normally always online. Yeah. Um, the well, next two ties, just to like do a refresher. Uh, well, technically, I just have to stop this recording and uh, uh, start to render it for YouTube. Besides that, I'm mostly free today, so if you just want to poke me today, we can just have a refreshing game for the other matches. Uh, today? If you if you want to, I mean, I just uh, need to stop this video since I'm gonna put it uh, on raw, sure. basically. Sure. I'm just gonna put an intro in it saying I'm gonna play in tournament and just. Uh, crop it a bit and just put it on the background to render it will seriously take like two hours for it to do that and then i could just play so if you give me like 30 minutes i'm basically free yes 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 please okay uh also one last thing uh we have the tournament rule that the loser has to report the results so can you contact sebi and tell you lost I'll do that. I'll okay do that. all right thanks yeah. All right, I will. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the game. I'll end the recording and I'm just gonna add here that this was <laughs> not an epic game. I was seriously on toast the entire time. Phew. Uh, thanks for the match. Good refresher, good reminder. Yeah. Thank uh, you. All right, let's see you on that.